Shalom, shalom. This is the brother Ramon Juan from GMS London Forecasters coming to you with another lesson in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and the Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. We give double honors as always to the apostles and the elders of the Great Most, and also who were well known as taught us this truth. Yeah, and, and they taught us this truth uh, uh, tirelessly for, for, for decades now. You know, in the highways and the hedges, in truth and in sincerity, man. In all honesty. Alright? I want to give uh, peace and blessings also to the brothers out there doing the work in the name of Yahweh Shami or Shai. They're doing it in truth and in sincerity also, man. Not trying to deceive the flocks, not trying to bring out their own doctrines and their own. Uh, that coming out of their own minds, man. Alright? So, yeah, man. So I come across this uh, this guy. Well, not this guy, Slack. Like I'm talk, speaking on the person who has um, who has uh, made this uh, video. All right. Yeah, the the channel is called John four sixteen. The word you have was shy. Right. John four sixteen. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. All right. Um. So this this man is a uh, on a on a, on a little mission as a, a lot of these uh so-called prophets have been over the years on trying to uh tarnish the works the good works of the apostles man all right and all that, i don't understand it man i don't understand it because where did you learn this from man all right where where did you learn this truth who are your teachers because a lot of you are coming out like you've been taught you taught yourself man like you like you how Basha is directly dealing with you all right you're being deceived and you're deceiving other people, man. And they're trying to bring out false lessons. It's not this isn't even a lesson, man. Because if you're gonna try and if you're gonna try and um uh, uh dispute what uh, the the elders are saying in their lessons, man, then you need to bring out your scriptures to prove that, man. The scriptures say the Bible says to prove all things, man. Right? But you're not doing that. All you're doing is making up your stupid little videos. Trying to prove something, you're not really proving nothing, man. Anyone can mash up a video. That's Esau's tricks, man. That's Esau's trickery. That's Esau's wizardry, man. Likes to chop up his little things and make things look like they're some way, some way when they're not really that way, right? That's called deception, man. And that's what you're. That's what he's doing in this video, man. So I'm gonna play some of this, and you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. Hypnotism is a powerful thing, man. Look, when we go out, when we come out here and we teach you. All these people that came to GMS, guess what? We hypnotize you in the coming of GMS, huh? Eh? Yep. We hypnotize you in the coming of GMS, huh? Eh? Yeah, yeah. We brainwashed you. Yeah. We brainwashed you. Them guys be brainwashing you. Damn right, we brainwashed you, man. And that's right, man. Look at the word brainwash, because people want to follow after Esau's bastardized English language, man. Right? If you're brainwashing someone, if you're washing something, is that not making it clean? Yeah, your brain is where your your is your is your mind, right? It's where your thoughts are, right? So you're basically your brain, your 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 mind has been cleansed, man. Well, don't you understand about that? But you're trying to mash it up, like uh, you you're, you the, the apostles are, are 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 trying to deceive, man. They're using um, spells on people, man. Because you can't see through the you can't see through it, man. You can't see through, you know, the talk to get to the to to the meat of what they're trying to say, man. Because you're too busy trying to make them look like um, wicked men. I mean, you're the wicked man. All right. So if you're brainwashing something, man, and that's the and that's what I said, man. That's that's how Esau's messed up this world, man, with his words. Right. He's a, that's because he's a man of he likes to use his words, yeah. And his wordplay, his semantics to try and trick people, man. Brainwash to brainwash some somebody would be to clean cleanse their mind. All right, play, let's play it on. So he thinks he's done something. Now. Oh, so like Second Peter two, start at the top. Yeah. All right, Second Peter two and one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, even denying the Lord that brought them, even denying the Lord that brought them. In the new covenant, though. We're not in the new covenant, though. We're not in the new covenant, though. Anybody, any, any of you camps out there? Yes. Who's teaching that we're in the new 
Uh, that's enough for that man i'm not even gonna, that's all i want i wanted to get to that point right because the apostles are correct obviously we're not in the new covenant man a new covenant has been a, um a established but we're not in it man all right we're not in it so so you, you guys out there that think you know something man and i don't proclaim to know something man but i know that you're wrong i don't proclaim to be uh uh, uh, uh you know uh, in uh, very very deep in this truth man i know what i know and i continue to try and learn all right we're not in a new covenant. I don't know. I don't know. We'll get the scriptures to actually show you that. All right. So you don't understand what you're, what's going on here. All right. You want to take the, the words of the of these men and try and twist them because you feel as though you're. Who are you? Like who are you? All right. Who are you, man? You don't even know that you're being deceived, man. All right. You are being deceived yourself, and and then you're de and then you're deceiving others, man. So let's just get the scriptures, man. All right. I'll come back to that when I want to get something else first. Where is it? Um, Hebrews 8. Uh, Right, let's just start from the top. It says Hebrews 8 and 1. It says, Now of the things which we have spoken, this is the sum. We have an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne. Of the throne of the majesty in heavens. Yahweh Shai, right? It says, A minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched and not man. All right? For every priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices wherefore it is of necessity that this man have someone also to offer i'm just going to get i'm just reading to the point all right for if for if he were on earth he should not be a priest seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law who serve unto the example and and the shadow of heavenly things as moses was admonished of yahweh or, or, or i'll say the most high when he was about to make the tabernacle. For see, saith he, that thou make all things according to the pattern showed to thee in the mount. Right, I'm getting to the point, so like it says, But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which is established upon better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. So the first covenant, obviously, right? is a uh, was made because what uh israel was going off all the time man all right and israel's going off and doing uh, committing sins punishable by death by death man. and now we're in a grace period where the harashai has obviously been sacrificed for our sins man so he's washed his blood has cleansed us of our sins so we may have um uh redemption right all right but are we still going off do we still go off? Of course we do, because we're not perfect yet, right? So we're not, we have not been made perfect. So, of course, we are still uh, capable of sinning, right? That's why it says uh, that it's, if we know, for the first covenant have been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. So that's, the second allows us to have the grace, right? It says, for finding fault with them, he saith, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant covenant with the house of israel and with the house of judah not according to the covenant that i made with their fathers in the day when i took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of egypt because they continued not in my covenant and i regarded them not saved the lord and right first going back to verse eight so like just to make a point it's talking about the you know um the southern and the northern kingdom right this this guy doesn't even believe he, he's talk he's, he's on that all um israelites are negroes so that's his levels, man. He's still stuck on that. 
It says, uh, verse 10, it says, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. Right? So the Lord is going to put the laws in our mind, meaning what? Meaning we are going to have, our, we're going to know the laws and understand the laws and keep the laws. All right, without going off, and when is that going to be in the kingdom? All right, when we have been cleansed, you know, when we have been redeemed, man. It says, And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful unto their righteousness and their sins and their iniquities, I will remember no more. All right, because it there will be no more sins man that's all going to be washed away man in that uh, in that he saith a new covenant he hath made the first old now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away so right let's go to um uh is ezekiel right uh Okay. Well, I start from sixteen, right? Ezekiel thirty six and sixteen says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it. By their own way, by doing their doings, so like by they they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Right, their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman. You know, meaning that when a woman is on a, a menstrual uh, cycle, man, she has to be removed from the household, man, and and she's put somewhere else, man, in another um, uh, 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 ha living habitat, right. It says, wherefore I poured upon my fury uh, them for the blood that they had shed upon the land for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen. See, people these people like him think when he's talking about scattering us among the heathen, what? So he scattered Negroes amongst the Japanese and um, the, the Chinese. Is that what you think he's saying? So, such a, a basic understanding man Isaiah 11 11 tells you all the places where uh, where some or not all the places but a great a great uh, many places where the Lord is going to um, uh, get the remnant of uh, redeem the remnant of his people man so you don't even have the basic understanding you still what about the lost lunar stone man what about the um uh, what about the, the Moabite stone what about the um uh, the writings of um of the Gadites, man. All right, old Hebrew writings, man. The old prayers that they used to throw up to Yah. All right, the, and and the old languages that they used to use that were basically broken down Hebrew, man. No understanding, man. You you're not deep, man. You're not deep. So yeah, it says, and I scattered them among the heathen, and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way, and according to their doings. I judged them, and when they entered unto the heathen, whither they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, These are the people of the Lord, Yahweh, and they are gone forth out of His land. But I had pity for my mine holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whither they went. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord power, I do, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy sakes, my name's ho for, for my for mine holy name's sake, Salakia, which ye have profaned among the heathen, wherever ye went, and I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them, and the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord Yahweh, when I saith the Lord power when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes for I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and I will bring you into your own land then will I sprinkle water upon you and ye shall be clean right 
So there's that's what that's that moment, man. Right? That clean linen cleanliness. He says, From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. Alright? Here we go. Verse 26. A new heart also will I give you, meaning mind. And I will and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. So what's he talking about, man? The Lord is going to put the laws, the statutes and commandments in us. Right? He's saying it. I will put my spirit within you. Right? Which is the word. Right? And cause you to walk in my justice. He's going to make it happen, man. He's going to make us perfect so we're not going to go off. And ye shall keep my judgments and do them. <laughs> This ain't even hard, man. And you see, see this is what about I'm gonna keep it with all these niggas in Israel, man. They always wanna be something. They look at the the the, the 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 heads, the leaders, and they want and they want they want to, um their positions, man. This guy, who is this guy anyway, man? How how long have you been in the truth, man? You know? where, where where's your um you know, where's your where's your um fruit, man? What fruit have you bear for this truth? Right? Because cause from what I've seen on his page, man, he's still teaching by himself. And there's nothing wrong with that, man. But if you're gonna come up come against the teachers of Israel, man, and, and try and talk shit about them, man. Like you need to at least back up your you're saying with the scriptures, but you can't, man. Because all this is doing is causing those that are weak and are not rooted in the truth to listen to you, man. All right, that's all it's causing, man. Only the weak-minded, the the ones that don't understand this or know the scriptures, man, are gonna listen to you. And and all that contention and controversy that you're causing, you know, that's for them weak, Jakes, man. They love that. It says, and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your power. I will also save you from all your uncleanness. And I will call for the corn and will increase it and lay no famine upon you. I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the increase of the field that ye shall, rec that ye shall receive no more reproach or famine among the heathen. Alright. That's the point made man. The point is they're made man. It's, it's been made. Right? It's been made man. So we don't. If we if we um was in the, if we was in the new covenant, man, we wouldn't. None of us would be going off. None of us would have to pray to the Lord, ask Him to for, for forgiveness when we go off. All right, we would be perfect already. So then, what would be that if we were perfect already? What was your how shall you need to come back for? See, there's too many demons, man. Too many demons out there now, and it's showing themselves up, man. They are showing themselves up. Let's get this. Um, or the, let me let me say that again. The Lord, in a different, in a better way. The Lord is showing them up, man. The Lord is showing them up. Second uh, Timothy three and one it says, "This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Yeah, covetous, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, whole, unholy." And this is this is for you, man. That's you. Right, you think you're out here doing something righteous, man, but you're not, man. You're not, and you're gonna, you're the one that's gonna be found out. It says, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, because that's false accusations you're trying to make, man. You're not backing up with any, with any, all you're doing is chopping up a video and trying to make editing up a video and trying to make people look, uh, the, the men and the Lord look bad, man. Now, uh, where's your, you're supposed to bring out the scriptures, man, right? Like I said in the beginning, man, the scripture said to what? Prove all things, man. I'm going to get that in a minute. Um, it says, we are, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. This is all, this, this is your, this is all you. This is all you. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures. More than lovers of Yahweh, having having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away 
for this is the for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins led away with diverse lusts ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth man you don't know the knowledge of the truth man you just know your little what you little bit is what you know man you and you think that all of a sudden you can just start talking shit Right? You think you can all just start talking shit about the apostles, man? Let me jump down. Verse 12 says, Yea, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach, Yahweh shall suffer persecution, man. And you're persecuting, man. You're trying to persecute the apostles that have been doing this probably nearly, what, four decades now, man. Who the fuck are you, man? Who the fuck are you? Right? Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. That's you. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, man. Yeah, you see, that's the difference, man. The, the men that are rude are assured, man. Ass assured in what they've been taught, man, and what they've learned for themselves. All right. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Right. So who have you learned from, man? I would love to know who you've learned from. Who have you learned from, man? Who taught you? What did Yahweh come down and teach you face to face, personally? Was that how, is that how it is in your mind, niggas, man? And there's gonna be more. The thing is, it's annoying because it's gonna be more. But it's prophecy, but it's still annoying. There's gonna be more and more niggas like this coming out, trying to trying to be something in these last days, man. Just they're just bringing about the destruction, man. It says, and, and that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Yahweh Shai. All Scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So all Scripture is given for those, all those things, man, but you didn't even bother to bring out any Scriptures to try and um, prove your point. says it all it says that the man of Yahweh may be perfect through th uh, th throughly furnished unto all good works all right so let's time pushing on, in, on this and let me just try and squeeze in a few more scriptures man uh, let me quickly get this one as I'm close quick one here uh, uh, 1 Timothy 5 and 17 says let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honour especially they who laboured who, so like they who labour in the word and doctrine no fucking respect man that's basically it no respect these men have been on the streets doing this ministry for years man and you think you can just come along and show such disrespect Pisses me off, man. You know, we don't follow these men blindly, man. Right? They don't tell us to follow that. They never told us to follow them blindly, man. They give you the they give you the scriptures, they give you the places to do your research, man. Right? The elect can't be deceived, man. So if you think they are deceiving the elect. The scriptures tell you that it can't be deceived. So, all you got to do is just do your thing, man. You know, you ain't, you ain't called out nothing. You haven't called out anything. You haven't proven anything. Uh, Galatians 6 and 3 says, For if... No, let me read it from the top. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault which ye are spiritual... Ye which are spiritual, restore such and one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Man, this man is not meek. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Hamashiach. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then he shall have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. 
Scooch just gets cut you up, man. This two edged sword, man. Uh, right, let me just try and squeeze out two more. Isaiah 64 says, Thou meetest him that rejoiceth and worketh righteousness. No, let me read it for four. From since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither have the eye seen, O power, beside thee what he hath prepared for him that waiteth. Meaning, we don't have no understanding, like we can only dream about the future kingdom, man. All right? The richest on this earth, the, the most richest of people or wealthiest of people on this planet have no idea of what true wealth is, man. Verse 5 says, Thou meetest him that rejoiceth and worketh righteousness. Those that remember thee in the ways, behold, thou art wroth, for we have sinned. In those is, continu in those is continuous, and we shall be saved. We're not saved yet, man. All right? So that new covenant that you think we're in, that you're probably teaching certain people, man, you're, you're going off. It says, but we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. You've been taken away, man. You've been taken away. You've been taken away your little mission to try and be something that you're not. To try and talk shit about men when you're just making shit up, man. Alright? Yeah, those words came out of their mouths, but you didn't show the understanding, man. Neither did you allow them to break that down. You just thought you could just try and deceive people. Last one. Ezekiel 13 and 1 says, And the word of the Lord Yahweh, Basham Yahshua, came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, Hear ye the word of the Lord Yahweh, Basham Yahshua. Thus saith the Lord Power, or the Lord Yahweh, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. Yeah, man, wily. Wily foxes, man. Wily foxes. You know, I don't really need to. I'm not even gonna read on, man. I'm just gonna call it on that. You know, um, you know, there's gonna be plenty more of these uh, Negro only coming up against the apostles and the and the elders. You know, trying to bring out their own doctrines, man. There's gonna be plenty more of these these uh, Negroes. Out there doing this, man. But they're just gonna get destroyed anyway, man. All right. <clears throat> and let me finish on this. Simple, quick one here. First Thessalonians five, twenty-one. Prove all things, man. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good, man. Yeah. Prove all things, man. If you can't do that, then shut the fuck up. Anyway, Lord willing, this was edifying, all right? I'm going to give uh, all praises and all glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahshai and double honours once more to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who were well. Peace and blessings to the Archimite right there that's doing this work in truth and in sincerity, like truth and in sincerity, right? And with that, I'll say Shalom.